Good morning. <laughs> I don't know what day it is on trail, but I do know that I'm in the most grizzliest grizzly country of the trail right now. We're going into the yak and it's supposed to be the highest, wait, the most densely populated area of grizzlies on this trail, but it's only for a short distance. You know, and I'm sure it's going to be like super rugged and <laughs> very cool. Yeah. So I'm going to pack my tent up and walk back to where I've stored my food and eat all the stuff and then go climb this 3,000 foot climb. It's going to be a great day. The mule deer bounce, right? Yeah, he ran out of the hill. No, he's down by our food bag. Yeah. yeah. He's like bounding around. Boop, boop, boop. Hi. It's the guy right north of it. This is what's happened. Is look, look, it's from up here. That's been gnawed through. Yeah, and they didn't gnaw through my thing. We're halfway there. <laughs> we gotta almost be to the top. <laughs> Maybe not though. <laughs> Woo. Made it to the top of that climb. Well, almost. I'm gonna go check out this lookout. And I believe there's a privy. Hiked out of Eureka yesterday and we were gonna do the climb, but it got kind of late because we stopped and ate a lot of fried chicken and catfish. And then we went swimming and made friends. And then it was gonna be too late to hike up the mountain in the dark in grizzly country. So we camped in this really cool spot and we just hiked up this thing this morning. And it's cool out and breezy. And honestly, I'm kind of glad that we stayed down there even though it wasn't my mileage goal. <laughs> we wouldn't have gotten to see this in the dark. And there it is. We're on top of the lookout. I'm just eating peanut butter. We're snacking on various items. I just asked him how, it, how he slept last night. Grinner, do you want to tell him how you slept last night? <laughs> I had lucid dreams of ants. Spotting ants all night. It wasn't just dreams. Tiny. They were medium bodied and they were like little metal tanks of these ants. And when you squish them, it was well anyway, sorry to be so 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 terrible about it. But these ants were indestructible and they were all in his tent. I only had two. But apparently that's how it went for him. It was a pretty spot though. It was. And our bear bags were okay. My bear bag was fine. His little bag got kind of messed with. Glad it was well away from us. We followed bear safety protocols. Not bad. Eight out of ten. It's chilly when you're sweaty, you know? You gotta be careful if you get too cold. Burr. This is what I need. Sunny spot out of the wind. Now wait for my friend. Yeah. All the ledges. Poisonous red bullets. <laughs> no good. Look at them though, they're all over the place. We were just commenting that leaving glaciers and like what, going into and out of Pole Bridge. I counted 43 bear poops in one day. Like there was a ton of bear poop. So now we're in the yak, the most wildernessy wilderness. I've only seen like three bear poos. It's weird, right? So we were thinking that maybe they're like more wild bears. They're not into the trail life, you know? Doing their own thing in the woodsy bits. That's what I'm gonna hope for as well. <laughs> Except for that mule deer today, trying to eat our food bags. Less wildernessy animal. The flowers were like, the water's here. Time to fill up. I'm so thirsty. Ooh, that's a good one. I made a good old leaf scout. 
Oh no! <laughs> I'm down to step into the fairy ring. <laughs> Honey fungus? <laughs> Warning, grizzly bear study is currently being conducted. Today has been a challenge for sure. Woo. Yeah, so I think we're going to that lookout. Solo Joe Road, Purcell Summit Trail, and this is where I'm going. <laughs> Water source. No thanks. Sunset. That's where I'm staying tonight. Right up there. That's the outhouse. <laughs> Woo! Holy moly. Whoa, sorry guys. Mm -hmm. 